Andrew Newberg is um, a new med doc down in the University of Pennsylvania. And he wrote a book called My God Won't Go Away, along with his now deceased psychiatric uh, co-researcher, who was a psychiatrist, I should say. Uh, he used SPECT scannings to measure cerebral blood flow, because that's what SPECT scans do. They measure the blood flow to the brain. Uh, during a verbal-based meditation by Franciscan nuns involving the internal repetition of a particular phrase. Well, now, that was the verbal uh, meditation. We did a verbal uh, meditation tonight. It wasn't the same one, but we did a verbal meditation, the Satan Nama, the Rick let us in. These results were compared then with uh, previously described results in eight Buddhist medita uh, meditators who used a visualization meditation technique. In other words, two different kinds of meditation techniques. Um, compared to the baseline, the verbal meditation scan shows increased blood flow in the prefrontal cortex up here, in the inferior parietal lobes, which are down here behind the, te the temporal lobes, which are here, and also in the inferior frontal lobes. So more blood going to those areas. And there was a strong inverse correlation with the ipsilateral superior parietal lobe. In other words, up here, there was less blood going to that area. So first and foremost, there isn't one spot in the brain that's affected when you're doing something like this. There's a whole bunch of different places being affected. And some places are getting more blood, and some places are getting less blood. Now here's a picture of the place that's getting less blood. You can see this very clearly. This is a SPECT scan. This is a 2D, this is a part of a 2D SPECT scan. Um, and you can see this is the one that was done beforehand. It's all red. There's lots of blood going here. Normal brain activity of the Buddhist meditator. And over here, there's very little red compared to this one. And you can see that this area has much less blood flowing to it. And that's out in the outside portion of the brain, and it's up here in the uh, parietal lobe. And if you want to know where the parietal lobe is, do this. Not behind your head. It's kind of your fingers coming together across the middle of your head like that, and then they go back. So you get that kind of pattern. It's like a little cap at the back. This is the picture of the brain. Oh, well, before we go any further, I should say, this is probably what your brains looked like before you did that meditation that Rick led us in tonight. Because that was the same meditation that they used for this experiment. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to do it tonight. So, you did the Kriya, or what, what is it? Kirtan Kriya meditation tonight. So, what's important about this picture here? Well, there's some dinges in the brain up here, and there's some little dinging here, but it doesn't mean a whole lot to you until you get used to looking at these things. This is not a 2D picture, this is a 3D picture, and you're looking at the bottom of the brain, you're looking up like that. This is the front, these are the temporal lobes, and this is your cerebellum. So that's the before picture, it's one of the before pictures. This is one of the after pictures, the same brain. Note that these holes are gone, and you've got this thing here in the middle. Is that the God spot? No, that's your, uh, your uh, thalamus. And what's happened is blood flow has increased to these areas in the brain. That's why they're showing up like this. When you put the two together like this, it's easier to see the difference. Dimples and holes here, no hypothalamus. Dimples are gone, and uh, the thalamus is, is back here. This is before and after the meditation. Okay. These pictures, for me as a psychiatrist who has no training in how to read the, the kind of uh, 2D readings that we saw earlier on with the bright colors, um, they're much harder to read. You need a lot of training and a lot of experience. I can look at this much more easily and I can see what's going on. When I have pictures like this and I show them to my patients, they can see them much more easily and understand what's going on. And they, of course, the other things are just like dots, like postage stamp dots. They don't mean anything. They, in fact, do, but you just don't know how to read them. At least I don't. 
The initial, in the initial brain scans, the dimples at the front of the brain show a lack of complete blood flow. The area located in the back region of the brain is lumpy and asymmetrical, also due to a lack of blood flow in the center of the brain. No thalamus is visible. A SPECT scan of the same brain after performing the, uh, the meditation shows that the dimples have disappeared, showing an increase in the blood flow. Back of the brain appears fuller and more symmetrical, and the thalamus is now visible in the center of the brain, and it wasn't visible before. So that means more blood is going there. And that's an example of what you did tonight to improve the blood flow to your brain. And this is very important for your brain health. 